All right, hello, uh, this is Jason Chris Bell, and this is my walkthrough for the Android version of the uh, Mood Calendar. So in case you didn't look at my iOS version, uh, quick explanation, this app is basically, it's based on a cognitive behavioral therapy technique uh, for people with depression. And basically it's real simple. You just keep track of what you do every hour and how it affects your mood. On a, you give it a score of one through 10 as far as how you're feeling. And um, that's pretty much it as far as the technique. Really the idea is to get a better feel for obviously how what you do and how it affects your mood. But also just like the very act of uh, keeping track of these, it activates uh, your prefrontal cortex. It's the part of your brain that is responsible for like decision making, uh, planning, delay of gratification, and that sort of thing. And so basically by doing this, you stop kind of just um, reactively re uh, responding to how you feel. So instead of saying like, oh, I feel like crap today, I'm just gonna sit in bed and watch Netflix for three hours, and then you end up feeling worse because you didn't do anything. Um, instead, as you use this app, you start being like, okay, I feel like crap, I did nothing for the past few hours, and now I feel even worse. Maybe I'll do something else. I'll go up and take a walk and see if I feel better because I, I know I will. And so you start making like conscious decisions. And um, it really helped me out a lot um, when I left the fire department and I was going through a pretty rough patch. So yeah, basically it's an idea I got from a workbook and I figured it would work so much better as an app because you could take it with you everywhere and you could make some things a lot quicker. And you could also remind you um, so you didn't have to remember every hour. It could just send you a notification. So that being said, I'll go ahead and show you the app. So this is the Android version. I made this um, a little bit earlier in the program. The iOS version was like my final project. And um, I also made a newer Android version, but I only had to bring it to like the alpha stage and it still needs a lot of work. So this is um, a simpler, but more functional and stable version. And so this one I did not um, use Firebase for. I actually uh, just made a SQL database and I'm storing it on a, a, a folder um, on the phone. So I'll show you right here. You, you see here, this is the uh, database I came up with. And um, and yeah, you just add an event. It's pretty simple. Um, no like foreign keys or uh, any crazy joins or anything like that. It's really just uh, one table is pretty much all I needed as far as uh, saving that information. But that was the first time that I created a SQL database on a file on a phone. Um, so that was an interesting learning experience. Anyway, so the app you see, uh, this is the main screen. It's very much like Google Calendar where you just kind of click where you want and, um, and then it like, it automatically uh, fills in the time for wherever you clicked and you can change it um, and make sure that the end times before the start time, after the start time, you enter in a description, walk to the dog, you enter in a score, we'll give it an eight and then you save it. And that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I did is I made it so that you can do a long press to bring up a couple little handles and then you can easily just resize the activity that way. And so that way, if you end up doing something, it takes a little bit longer than you expected. You can just change it real quick in a visual uh, tactile sort of way instead of having to go back to the uh, edit activity page and changing it manually. Um, obviously you can delete activities as well. Um, you can change the days. Um, you can bring up a little date picker to change the days in a quicker way. Um, it sends you notifications. So every hour, if you haven't logged an activity for the previous hour, it sends you a notification uh, just like this. Uh, man, I can't get this to stay. Um, yeah, and so you can go right to the second screen or you can snooze it for 15 minutes. Or, of course, you can click here and it brings you right to the... Uh, login page and with the right times added. Um, this is an old notification that I just kept on there um, as an example, but, oh, I guess my time, okay. Anyway, um, so there's that. And then the last thing is just like a little settings page I made. You can change how often, so every 30 days, it um, prompts you to take a depression screen. Um, that sends you to a third party website um, because I, I didn't want to be the one like administering a depression screen because then you're sort of practicing medicine. Obviously that's not something I want to touch at all. So I just send them to the standard government uh, PHQ-9 depression screen. Um, and then you can change what hours it sends you notifications as well. Um, so that's it. It's pretty simple. It's basically just a CRUD app with a couple like notifications and this little uh, click jag resizing feature I added. And that's pretty much it. Um, so thank you.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.